innovations and creativity in science, engineering, technology, and math will be the drivers of tomorrow's economy. Jobs, 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 jobs. Jobs. That's the word in four letters, jobs. And if you are not a participant on that frontier, you will trail behind it and possibly get left behind entirely. Most American kids opt out of the harder math and science classes, as you know. So I think most people opt out of hard things. And many of those jobs that pay sixty, seventy thousand, eighty thousand dollars you need a lot of calculus. You do. You need math. You do. You need science. And you need physics. Math needs better marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Hire a marketing firm or something. There are people who say, I'll never need this math, these trig identities from 10th grade or 11th grade, or maybe you never learned them. Here's, here's the catch. Whether or not you ever again use the math that you learned in school, the act of having learned the math established a wiring in your brain that didn't exist before. And it's the wiring in your brain that makes you the problem solver. Why did you become a scientist? Since age nine, the universe chose me in a first visit to the local planetarium, the Hayden Planetarium in New York City. Ever since then, had you asked me what I want to be when I grow up, that annoying question that adults always ask, I would have said, an astrophysicist. So there's a value to students studying math and science at high levels, even if they don't want to be running the Hayden Planetarium. Even if you don't want to become a scientist, minimum you should ask of yourself, demand of yourself, is that you become scientifically literate. Better yet, scientifically literate and mathematically literate. Why? Because therein are the engines of problem solving in the world. How does that connect to jobs and the bottom line, which is money? Now you're valuable to an employer because companies want to innovate. And the company that, companies that don't innovate, they wither on the vine. So the connection between STEM fields and financial stability of a nation is what needs to be established. That connection somehow is broken. People don't see it. Why don't Americans see it, the connection? Dare I say that maybe we're not trained to think that way. We're trained to think if you do A, then there must be B, cause and effect. Do you think Americans understand that chain of events? No. Are they starting to? No. You should be educated. And in the education, you should value science, engineering, technology, and math. If you do so, you get to innovate and invent new industries, new economies. If you invent new economies, everybody has jobs tomorrow. That's a chain of events. It's not A equals B. You've got to go through three other variables to get to D.